Hey name tags, this is Ash from Heal My PC. I've got with me an Acer Aspire Switch, I think Switch 10 or one of these versions. So this is, this was bought by a relative of mine, Sumeya, and uh, <coughs> this has 32 gig of base hard disk capacity, or storage capacity I should say, not hard disk, and uh, 2 gigabyte of RAM, and it's got Windows 8.1. Now, this, initially I thought um, I would get an SSD 120 gigabyte to increase the storage capacity because when I ordered that I did not see the laptop yet and my relative was having problems giving me the exact version of this supposedly laptop then I realized when I got it this is not a laptop this is a tablet it's a glorified tablet and this is detachable just snap off that's the keyboard part funny thing is Online, I've seen a few videos of people trying to open. Well, they actually did open. If you turn this at the back, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then this was also snapped in there. And you have to lift it up using maybe like a spurger. It's plastic anyway. And uh, lift it up. There's two more screws, nine and ten, and this pops off very easily, like so. This screw was a bit um, dodgy, so I left it in. So there you go. That's just the keyboard back cover. And some people were trying to say that that did not provide any space to upgrade or insert or install a an SSD or hard drive. They were talking about controller boards and whatnot. They are partly correct since on some versions of this tablet there will be a factory soldered on COM port here, which would mean you could possibly connect a SATA either SSD or even mechanical hard drive down here, or maybe an M SATA card drive here. However, in this model, because of the design of the back cover, the thickness of the SSD or the mechanical drive will not allow for any um, installation of a hard drive now this is a tablet and uh, we're going to remove this cover using a spudger right There we go. <clears throat> so, back cover, that's to the side, and here is the tablet. Okay. So as you can see, so we've got the battery, and that is the motherboard, and you can't even see no SSD. There's absolutely no way to put an SSD. This is one of those soldered on chip. Great. So there you go it's not possible to upgrade this the only solution is to get a bigger sd card and stick it in there as there's currently just 16 gigabyte of extra storage one second mm. Mm. stop judging me i'm done is coming or get an external hard drive and plug it into the only usb in other words do not buy this garbage two gigabyte of ram 32 gigabyte of storage windows 8.1 over 300 pounds absolute rubbish do not buy this get yourself either a more decent laptop or even better my prefer preferred choice would be a customizable desktop i can actually build a full desktop including keyboard monitor and which is going to be fully upgradable and which will give you more performance than this this was ash from my pc until next time peace out